Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Saturday edition, and we are in the book of Revelation, wrapping up chapter 18 today. And we pick up in verse 18. The Bible says, They will cry out as they watch the smoke ascend, and they will say, Where is there another city as great as this? And they will weep and throw dust on their heads to show their grief. And they will cry out, how terrible, how terrible for that great city. The ship owners became wealthy by transporting her great wealth on the seas. In a single moment, it is all gone. Rejoice over her fate, O heaven, and people of God and apostles and prophets. For at, la at last, God has judged her for your sakes. Then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of a huge millstone. He threw it into the ocean and shouted, just like this, the great city Babylon will be thrown down with violence and will never be found again. The sound of harps, singers, flutes, and trumpets will never be heard in you again. No craftsmen and no trades will ever be found in you again. The sound of the mill will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The happy voices of brides and grooms will never be heard in you again. For your merchants were the greatest in the world, and you deceived the nation with your sorceries. In your streets flowed by the blood of the prophets and of God's holy people, and the blood of people slaughtered all over the world. So this continues the, <clears throat> the theme from the first part of chapter 18, talking about the destruction of this city of Babylon, which represents the uh, world that has rejected and refused to receive the um, gift of God, of salvation through Jesus Christ, and has rejected the understanding that it's all about living our lives for him. Again, as we did in the first part of this chapter, we need to understand that our lives are so much more than just the here and now. We have a picture here of the example of Babylon, this great city, this prosperous city, this uh, economic powerhouse, fully advanced and fully uh, doing wonderful things, seemingly incredible things, and yet judgment has come upon that city. This is telling us that there's so much more than the here and now, so much more than what we see and deal with in the physical realm of life. Yes, we are physical beings, but we are also spiritual beings. How sad it is for people to think that this life is all there is, that you are born, you live, you die, you decay, and that's it. Scripture tells us, and we, we are convinced, that this life is just preparation for the next life. And so we must choose to... Um, Obey God, be devoted to God, give our lives to Jesus Christ, and to be concerned about the spiritual things of life, not merely the physical things. So may we strive to understand that there is more to life than just what we see. May we be committed to what God has called us to. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for another day of life, but Father, thank you for the gift of eternal life that we have in Jesus Christ. Thank you as your word tells us that it's a free gift to us, but a great price was paid for it. 
by Jesus. Help us to realize that um, there's so much more than just the little bit of time we've given, been given on this in this life. Help us to realize that there is um, a life ahead and we need to be concerned about that as well. Thank you for your word, Lord. Help us to be drawn closer to it and closer to you each and every day. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, have a super Saturday. Um, I encourage you to begin preparing your hearts for worship tomorrow as we gather at West Shore at 11 o'clock, as we continue in our series, What If? And as we are talking tomorrow about the godly way to love one another, the godly way to love people who do not know Jesus. We can't truly impact people unless we love them the way God wants us to. So join us if we can, if you can. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.